These are the top 12 reasons and excuses people have for not forming their LLC, and they are all wrong. But don't worry, I'm gonna explain exactly why. And number 12 is my favorite. Let's get started. The first thing that I hear is that you're living in one state and you're gonna move to another, so you should probably wait to form your LLC first. I understand where you're coming from, but you're completely wrong. For example, if you were to form an LLC in California and then move to Wyoming, all you have to do is file a foreign domestic filing with Wyoming. That will then take your California LLC and duplicate it into Wyoming and give you the ability to do business under that name. It doesn't take a lot of time and it's very easy to get done. It's a simple online application. Reason number two, my address is gonna change. I, I can't form an LLC right now if I don't know where I'm gonna be living, false. When you form an LLC with a company like Inkfile, which I recommend, and if you want to learn how, you can watch this video, you have the option to hire them to be your virtual address. What that means is that you pay Inkfile to use their address in that state for your business purposes. That way, you don't have to use your home address. You can live anywhere in the world you wanna live, and when Inkfile gets your mail, they'll open it, scan it, and email it to you. Reason number three the EIN problem. You have to tie an EIN to your LLC or it's useless. An EIN is an employer identification number. It takes the place of a social security number. And you can't get an EIN for your LLC until you get the LLC because you have to make sure the name on the EIN matches the LLC paperwork. So it's in your best interest to get the LLC so that you can tie the EIN to it so that you can then open up a separate bank account for that LLC. It just makes sense and it's the best logical path to follow. So don't do things as a sole proprietor. Don't use your social security number. If you're gonna get the EIN, you might as well get the LLC. Reason number four, you just haven't done it yet. You haven't gotten around to it. And while I understand that everybody's busy business is about taking action and if you don't take action you will not move forward filing for an LLC is a very simple clear-cut step and it forces you to take action when you take action you do the thing when you do the thing you get your reps in the more reps you get in the better you get the more confidence you will build therefore action is a cure for not having the time reason number five you just don't know how to do it this is one of the easier ones to solve because all you have to do is click on this video and I will teach you exactly how to fill out every single form. Reason number six, it's too expensive. It's the cost. I would disagree. I would say that the cost of forming the LLC is one of the more affordable fees that you're gonna have to pay when you enter into the world of doing business. Look, there is a cost to doing business, whether it's merchant processing fees, whether it's website hosting, whether it's paying advertisers, whether it's just shipping your product to the customer, there will always be fees. And I promise you that forming the LLC is the lowest of a lot of these fees. In some states, it's as cheap as $20 to form your LLC. It can get as expensive as $500 in Texas, sure, but in the grand scheme of things, it is a very small price to pay to get started. If you want the cheapest method on how to form an LLC, you'll want to form it directly with the state that you're forming the LLC in. If you go to the Secretary of State website, I guarantee you, you will be paying the lowest amount of money possible in order to form that LLC. If you want an even simpler, easier way and you're willing to spend an extra 20 bucks or so, I highly recommend Inkfile. You can watch this video right here if you're ready to get started now. Number seven, what if I form the LLC and then I have to move? That's an easy one to handle. All you have to do is update your statement of information with the Secretary of State. Here's a good example. I started a business in Southern California. We moved to Northern California. We're still in the state, but I did move addresses. I need to let the state know. So I go onto the California Secretary of State website and I'll file a statement of information. You're required to file your statement of information every year, by the way. So I just file it again, extra, a little early, for $20. And now my address has officially been changed with the state, no problems. Number eight, I'm not making enough money yet and I just can't justify spending it on an LLC. Honestly, if that's your state of mind, then you're probably not ready to go into business at all because business costs money. You have to take on risks and at some point you have to jump off, make it official and just start getting your reps in. And this is one of those things. You have to get the LLC started so that you can get the EIN, so you can get the bank account, so you can start taking money in the right way to build your business properly. And if you're not ready to put enough skin in the game just to get that LLC, we're talking less than a hundred bucks, then you're probably not ready to build this business. There's a lot of additional fees that go into it. So if a hundred dollars is too much, then it's probably not right time for you anyway. Reason number nine, I can just start doing business as a sole proprietor and form the LLC later. I'll just backtrack everything. Sure, that is totally true and you can absolutely do that. But have you ever done it? I have. It 
sucks. It is so hard to backtrack. It is so difficult to go back in time and keep track of everything. Okay, what, what credit card did I use for this? What bill did I pay with this? Shit, I don't remember. I don't have the receipt. Ah, forget about it. That's how you're gonna feel. You should not ever go down this path if you don't have to. Form the LLC now, get the EIN, get the bank account, and start doing things properly. Sure, maybe it's a $100 expense, but it is not worth spending thousands of dollars on a bookkeeper or financial professional to clean up the mess simply because you didn't want to jump through an extra hoop. Now, these last three are more reasons than excuses. So let's change up the mindset really quick. And I'm gonna give you the last three from a different lens. Here's number 10. The process of forming the LLC and creating the business forces you to learn. It forces you to start understanding the words like what does LLC mean or secretary of state or statement of information, registered agent. These are all words you're going to have to learn the definitions of and understand how they come into play in business. If you learn the process now, you won't have to learn it later. But if you don't learn it now, when you start moving forward in business and people start asking you questions or you start doing deals and they're like, hey, what's the name of your LLC? And you're like, oh shit, actually, I don't have one. You're going to be looked at as less legitimate than the people who have jumped through those hoops previously. It's not fair, but it's true. So avoid that mistake down the road when you're serious and get it done now. The sooner you can learn it, the better. Number 11 piggybacks off of number 10. Going through the process and getting things done makes you a better business owner because you understand more about the process of what it's like, of what goes into it. You're able to be more confident, because you've made the decisions and you've done the work. When someone comes to you, whether it be a cousin, a brother, a friend, or a family member, and they say, hey, I saw you formed your LLC. Can you teach me how to do mine? You're gonna know exactly what to do and you're gonna be able to pass on that message and help someone else realize their dreams. So if you're even on the fence, just jump in with both feet so you can start being a better business owner even faster. Get your reps in, get your time under the bar so that you can get Good. And reason number 12 is my favorite, so I'm glad you stuck around for it. What if your business blows up? What if you can't keep product on the shelves? What if you can't order enough? What if you can't even hire enough people to take care of all of your customers? That is a reality, and that can happen. If you're set up as a sole proprietor, you're f because you're gonna be paying way more in taxes. You won't even have any flexibility or any way to finagle yourself out of that situation and it's gonna back you into a corner and you're gonna have to pay Uncle Sam a lot more money than you wanted to. But if you've taken the time to form your LLC, you can get creative. You can change the tax status of your LLC to S Corp. If you make $150,000 in your first year, you can turn your LLC into an S Corp that very first year and save yourself 15% in taxes by simply filing a form. It is ludicrous, but you can't do that if you're just a sole proprietor. If you don't have an LLC, S Corps are completely off limits to you. And it is really challenging after you've made all the money to go back in time and fix it. So if you even believe in yourself 1%, do yourself the favor, form the LLC now so that when you do blow up, you'll be prepped, ready, your foundation will be solid, and you'll be ready to take this thing to the moon. If you've made it this far, I'm super proud of you, but it probably means that you're ready to form your LLC. So go ahead and click on this video next so I can teach you exactly how to fill out all your forms using Inkfile.